Nancy of Nancy's Original Art again. Um, today I'm going to do another 12 by 16 photo. Um, for this one, I've already flooded my canvas. I wanted to get a head start for the video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and I'm going to take my little squeeze bottle with the same color as the base and I'm just going to go through and we're just going to take and we're just going to fix my edges. And all you do is go around the edges with it. You want to make sure that the edges get covered really good. Okay, including those corners. Okay, and then once you get that done, if you need to, sometimes you do, not all the time, but once I put the edges around, sometimes I like to just go along the edges and make sure that there are no bubbles along the edges. All right. So now that we've done that, the first round of colors that I'm going to use for this particular video, it's going to be the Tiffany blue color that I have. Then I'm actually going to be using a gray. And I thought for the heck of it, I would actually throw in some 24 karat gold. So let's go ahead and get started on this painting really quick. Okay, I just want to make sure that I had my blow dryer over here. Okay, so the first color I'm going to put down is the Tiffany Blue. Oops. I may have gotten a little more than I really needed, but hey, it'll still work. Now we're going to put down the, actually I'm going to put down the 24 karat gold first. Now that we've done that, now we'll put the gray. Okay, now that we've got the colors down, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our blow dryer, which I really do love this little blow dryer. We're going to actually take it and blow it out now. Okay, well, it's not bad, it's not one of my best, still not bad though, I feel like I'm getting a little too much white right there, but like I said, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes if you take your blowtorch, and you just kind of run it over where the white is. Well, this particular instance, it didn't really do it. Sometimes if you take your blowtorch and you run it over like your areas that you want some more color to come through, you can use the blowtorch and it'll actually bring some of the color through that white. But in this particular case, 
it just did a little bit right there, but that was about it. Well, I'm not really going to mess with it because I don't want to ruin the rest of the composition. It actually has come out pretty cool. Now, as far as the colors go, though, the colors looked good in my head, but actually putting them on the canvas, I'm not quite sure that they work. But, hey, as Bob Ross used to say, there's never just accidents. They're always happy accidents. And you never know who might actually like these colors together. There's always going to be that one person. Now, as you notice, I'm actually taking care of my edges because I want to make sure that I don't have those drips going and it suddenly changes the composition on my painting. So, I actually will go along and gather up my drips. Once I've done that, I will let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. I come back in and I do it a second time. Now when I come back in, if it looks like it's still going to keep running off the sides and dripping, what I'll do is give it about another 10 minutes, come in, and do them again. But usually for me, because of where I live, and because of the way my house is, usually I only have to do it twice and I'm good to go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually bring you down for a close-up. So this is the close-up. And look at all that really cool cell action going on. Especially with the 24 karat gold in there. It's really creating some cool cells. Now this is the area where I said I felt like there was too much white. I did do the blowtorch and I got these little bits of blue right there. But that was about it. Look at these crazy cells. Woo! Again, this is the Tiffany Blue with 24 karat gold and gray. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video, and please turn on those post notifications. And until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and that you all stay safe. Bye!